Yeah, make up, make out. I mean. Yo, it's kinda hard to stay calm with all this talk of A-bombs, I can't really ignore it, what with Donald Hunt and Kay Jong, and since nuclear war is now basically quite imminent, I'm wondering if you'll join me in this basement that I'm living in, it's got accommodations, as amazing as a bunker, we can hunker down and face an operation rolling thunder, I'm stacked on games in case we wanna play and never slumbering, got snacks for days so we don't waste away from our hunger, this is an exclusive invitation, only for the few I'd like to stay with if our days are ever numbered, as a human race, I mean our population was encumbered, this earth in any case, so in a way, this really may not be a bummer. A nuclear apocalypse. When it's over, we can hunt for oxidants and fuel to take a rocket ship to space from the waste of a once beautiful metropolis, just stocking it with things that are useful, like, um, chocolates? Or maybe oxygen would be smarter. Eh. Actually, I'll stick to chocolates. And honestly, I'm not exactly sure what has me more scared. It's kind of strange, but I fear climate change as much as warfare. With oceans rising, all the coasts will find themselves submerged, and I don't think the current government has shown enough concern. We've got researchers waving publications in dismay as our leaders keep taking our nation to its grave. So when it comes time to find a place in which to stay, like I mentioned earlier, my bunker basement's pretty safe. In a worst-case scenario, an earthquake might bury you, but otherwise I've kept track of every single variable. If temperatures get crazy, my AC will keep us very cool. If oceans rise, we're waterproofed and i've got a tube that runs about the room a couple hundred feet into the air my neighbors think that i'm a kook but there's no being too prepared so whether it gets hot out or we face nuclear fallout if you hear this for you i've got a few feet of room to spare I'm a lover girl, but I've never received.